right. Okay, can I be transparent? Y'all sure. Take Don't your clothes can, off. Can y'all have... Take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Dance like David. <laughs> Can y'all handle this? <laughs> <laughs> right. yes. I'm not gonna allow this problem, your problem, this problem, problem. life's problem. Yes. I'm not gonna allow this to put my energy, my positivity, yes. my motivation, yes. my faith yes. at risk. Yes. Because the web of the wicked <laughs> is laid up. Laid up. Is an accomplishment. I'm not talking about the relationship of it. I'm talking about the true substance yeah. of love and being hurt through it and the passion of it and the love of being in it. That is what you're not allowing yourself to have. Understand what I'm saying? So yes. if I can't, if I'm saying I can't love properly, uh -huh. then what I'm saying is God is not functioning Shame. properly. Oh, and that devil is a lie. How if, if people attacked by accountability they're not ready to heal there you go when it's actually saying you know what I'm gonna take the time to really focus on me because I don't know how to love properly come on I don't know how to care for myself yeah I don't know what healing looks like yeah I don't know what function it function functional relationships right. must look like you know what I'm saying yes. so I don't know what these look like so how can I be a part of these things yes if I don't know what it looks like but what, if that, but what if that's what God wants for your life? This dude, this dude say he can't be successful. stations are tuned in to Underground Gospel Radio! Yo, 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 man, what's going on? What's going on? We are back in the underground. We are back in the underground. I'm so excited to be back in the underground. As you can see, the crew is uh, not here, but we got... An extension to the crew. Miss First Lady is in the building. She's in the building. <laughs> So listen, man, before we get started, because we got a good topic, man, that's going to go down, man. Listen, before we get started, we want y'all to go ahead and click like and share. Click like and share. Get your people in the building. Man, I'm telling you, because this is about to go down. And I'm telling you, the topic on the day is definitely one of those topics that you be like, oh, my gosh, they talking about this. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is it. So, yeah, listen. Um, Yeah, man, we back in the underground. What's been going on? What's been going on, first lady? It's cold in here. It is. <laughs> When you say it, you be saying that it's too hot. It's cold in here. <laughs> you be saying that it's too hot. And um, I, I, I mean, hey, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I figured, hey, we going to go ahead and. Uh, you figured wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am a woman. I am an estrogen. Not testosterone. <laughs> I got a little bit of testosterone. But I don't but know. But I don't know. Women be more hot. Than men do and bothered. <laughs> that was in a past life. Amen. I'm delivered now. You delivered. I am. She says she ain't hot no more. She 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 I, I that. never said I, I'm more bothered than I am hot, but. Amen. but I'm, but I'm just saying though, a lot of because I know my wife, she'd be like, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot, you know, because you know, and then she flicked the what what the, what I don't understand is she wants she's so hot, but then when I turn the the air down, she's smoking, she's smoking, <laughs> but then but then she put the cover on and then she's okay. So I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> You, you have to work. I'm just bothered. You just bothered. <laughs> it's cold in here, y'all. It's cold. It's cold. My bro. ankles are cold. <laughs> I'm not doing no show no more. We don't no cold room now. I'm staying there now. We gonna make sure she have a cover then, so she could be covered. But then if you put a cover, then you gonna want to go to sleep. That's my business. Because then now it's cold, and then now you got a cover. Now you gonna snuggle up. And what heaven or hell do you have to put me in? <laughs> 
Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, though. But listen, so we're going to go ahead and get on with the show, man. Listen, I'm telling you right now, y'all go ahead and keep our boys lifted up, man. You I know, mean, big win and, and heathen. Uh, they not in the building today, but, you know, definitely keep them lifted up in prayer. They had some things that they had to take care of and do and things of that nature. So, uh, man, make sure y'all keep my boys lifted up in prayer, man. Amen. And We love y'all. <laughs> we love big win and heathen. So definitely they'll be back here next week, man. And uh, we're doing something special for next week. So I'm excited about it. Amen. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started with this show, man. Listen, it, it's a, it's about to go down today. I'm excited about it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I am excited about it. So listen, I'm your boy, Selfless the artist. I'm your nephew. I'm your cousin. And but I ain't your daddy. <laughs> You know what? You know what? <laughs> and I am the first lady, the Jaleesa Caden. If you don't shout at your church, don't invite me. Wait a minute. If you don't shout at the church, don't invite you. So, I mean, you know, maybe they... Maybe well, just, don't interrupt. <laughs> you don't interrupt you when you said your your, your introduction. I did not. I let you say your piece. I'm and just now, saying. No, 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 no. It's my time now. It's I'm just my saying, time. Though, I, I'm just saying, though. If you don't shout at your church, do not invite me. Okay. All right. All right. That that okay. We we just going to keep it that way. Just just that. <laughs> wait, wait, let me back up. If it's dry and you don't shout. Yeah. Mm-mm, don't invite you. I'll be praying for I send my offering. I, I pray for the service by my Oh, gonna. okay. Cuz you ain't that a pump and primal. <laughs> and it's so and it's so crazy that we said we're not going to pump. I'm not going to pump and prime you, but we watch you pump and prime. <laughs> you said you're not going to pump and prime. But we watching your pump and pride. We watching. We watching pump and pride. We ain't go pump and pride. I don't like know. That, that. I don't know what you came to do. <laughs> and, and we over here watching all this. And yeah, she, you're yeah. pumping. That, that's pumping and priming. That's pumping and priming. Pretty much. Pretty much pumping and priming. Yeah, okay, pretty much pumping and priming. So. I'm still not coming. You still not coming? Don't invite you. Okay, all right. Hey, y'all heard it. First lady done put it down. First lady done put it down. So we're going to go ahead and keep it moving. We're going to go ahead and keep it riding. And, uh, and if they feed it after church, then I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm Just wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> wait a minute. So you don't want them to invite you if they not shouting or if they not... <laughs> But if they feed you after church, either bring you a plate or come and take it. Judge your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Judge your mama. <laughs> and she ain't got no edges, so don't don't come for don't, me. Don't come for you? Okay. All right. Well, don't come for her then. Don't Pe- come for her. Period. Period. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get it moving. We're going to go ahead and get it cracking, lacking. And uh, I'm telling you, we got a good we got a good topic for the day, man. And I'm so excited about it, man. I'm very excited that, you know, we're going to go ahead and talk about this. So listen, man, listen. We know that Jesus is outside. outside. <laughs> Is outside. You know what? <laughs> okay, so we know that Jesus is outside because the word of God is going up and it's coming down in the underground. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I'm so excited about it, though. I'm, I'm excited about this, man. So listen, so the topic for this week is life on trial. Ding dong. Life on trial, being judged. So listen, with life on trial and being judged, man, you know, I don't know. Have you ever felt like your life has been on trial ever since you came over to Christ? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think that's <clears throat> I think that's a good question for a lot of believers and a lot of people that is trying. Because I think a lot of people forget that you're not perfect. Right. And that when you first accepted Christ as your, your Lord and Savior, that you did not automatically, you know, come with a change. Right. But you're all, you're you're going into a change right. and you have to work on a change. Mm-hmm. But then you live in a life as on trial when, you know, you think about it because everything and every move that you make and everything that you do is always being watched. Always. Always being watched and always being to the point where it's like, yo, I'm human. At the end of the day, yes, I I serve God. Yes, I'm a believer of Christ. Yes, I go to church. Yes, you know, I preach the word. Or yes, I sing worship. Yes, I do all this. But I'm still human. I'm still human at the end of the day. I'm I'm trying and I'm trying just like everybody else. I'm trying not to go to jail. I'm (laughs) trying. You're trying not to go to jail. 
You try not to go to jail. You don't want to go to jail. You ain't finna go to jail. <laughs> Wait a minute. What you gonna go to jail for? <laughs> for slapping somebody. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> for me to keep my hands to myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and take me to jail. Just take you to jail. Just go ahead. Yeah. 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 Just just take her to jail. Just, Amen. Just take it. <laughs> Just take it to jail. Just clank, clank. Just clank, clank. But, but, you know, and that's such a, it's such a serious topic because yeah. I felt as though, you know, I, and I have an actual question before we actually get into the word and, you know, things of that nature. I have a question. Do you feel as though you're, you are more condemned in the church than you are in the world? Mm. Me personally, I feel more condemned as... Um, I feel more condemned in the church by others, not by. And see, my thing is you're more condemned by others more than you are for your own sin. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're, you're now, you know, in, you're facing so much, n not only that your, your flesh and your body and things that you go through on a daily that you have to fight through daily. Mm -hmm. You're now condemned mostly you understand by others and it's it, it kind of seems like that people pay more attention to the covenant that you made with god than the covenant that yes they made with god. yeah yes you're yeah. you're absolutely right yeah but i also feel like whenever you whenever you judging the next man you're messing up your covenant with god absolutely yeah absolutely that but see the crazy thing is they're so they 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 they're so focused on your covenant with god yeah. And forget about their own covenant with God. And I think in and, and different ways to look at covenant is um, like a spiritual contract of, you know, the things that God requires from us and the things that we, we do for God. We tend to forget that that we shouldn't have no room to judge anybody because at the bottom of the contract, it doesn't have nobody else's name. I know that's right. I know that's right. But you and God. But you and God. Yes, absolutely. You are absolutely right. Yes. Wow. Wow. I think that's a very important. I think a lot of and 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 see, you were singing a song earlier today. You know, and we're gonna get back into the scripture. What you, what what's your song was? <laughs> God bless you, people of God. God bless you. And if you are blessed by um, this song on tonight, uh, my cash app <laughs> is Jaleesa sings ninety one. That is J A L E S S A. Uh huh. Uh huh. S I N G S. All right. All right. Ninety one. Oh my God. The my song God. says, <laughs> "I feel you, Holy Ghost." Now. Oh my goodness. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Be quiet. Shh. Hallelujah. The song says, "All of my business belongs to me." <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> All of my business belongs Ooh. to me. Lift your hands. <laughs> oh, Hallelujah. Okay. All of my business belongs to me. Yes. All my business, God. Yes, yes. Mind your business. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> mind, yeah, that's it. That's, that's all it. I to say. That's all. Mind that's your it. Business, mind, your, mind your business, right? Period. Mind your business. Now, see, if you, everybody were minding their business, you wouldn't have to worry about being judged, ain't it? You ain't have to be judging people or, or judge, but <laughs> let's get into the word. <laughs> Let's get into the word of God. Let's get into the word of God and let's see what the word, the Bible says about life on trial being judged. That you got. Um, Hallelujah. Where we come? Where we coming from? Turn with me <laughs> to the book of Matthew, mm -hmm. chapter seven, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we will be going through verses one through five. Ah. And the version that we will be reading from mm -hmm. will be from the Message Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody tell me to read. Read. The Bible declares to don't pick on people, mm -hmm. jump on their failures or criticize their faults. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Right. That critical spirit has a way of boomeranging. Ooh. 
Wait. Some, some of y'all can't even spell boomerang. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's easy to see a smudge on your neighbor's face and be oblivious to the ugly snare on your own. Mm. Do you have the nerve to say, let me wash your face for you mm. Mm. when your own face is distorted by contempt? My God. It's this whole traveling road show mentality all over again, playing a holier than thou part instead of just living your part. My God. Wipe that ugly sneer off your own face uh-huh. and you might be able to fit in to offer a washcloth to your neighbor. Ooh, my God, my God. Wow. And that's the Bible. Show over. <laughs> We thank y'all for joining us uh, on tonight. <laughs> powerful word. Powerful word. Powerful. Powerful. What did you What did you actually take from that? I took a lot from that. Mind your business. And mind your business. <laughs> Point blank, period. Mind your business. Who are you? <laughs> wow. 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 Yes. And it just simply says, do not judge lest you be judged. You know, and I think a lot of people are... I think a lot of people that are judging people because even it says in the word, ye without sins, cast the first stone. Yes. That's that's the Bible. That's not Babel. That's Bible. Bible. That's Bible. So and it's like nobody has the right or the 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 capacity to, you know, talk about anybody, judge anybody, or come for anybody. And also what I've um took from the scripture is sometimes we're going to miss out on God because we're too busy and worried about somebody else. Yes. Yes. So yes. Yes. Yeah, like, yes. Yes. I, I, I totally agree with that. I totally agree that you're going to miss out on God because you're so busy worrying about what this person doing, what this person wearing, what, the, where this person is going, what that person is doing with their life. And that and that way, you're going to miss out on on God for your life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people and, and the crazy thing is a lot of people miss out, miss out on their blessings mm-hmm. because they're all in somebody else's blessings oh, yeah. and all in somebody else's business mm-hmm. wanting to see how they got their blessing or what they did to get their blessing yes. or if they figured out if it's really your blessing or a curse or somebody. Oh, well, uh, you're doing this and you're doing the most and this ever and ever. Just be happy for us people. Happy. A lot of people not happy for you. Happy. But why is that? Why is that such a a big deal to not be happy for people? Because people don't understand how we can go through the hell that we go through, and then God blesses us, and we can wear the blessing better than we ever went through the trial. Ooh, that's a good one there. I'm smart today. Ooh, man. Yeah. Ooh. Hold on, say that again. Say that again. I, I can't. You should call it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's just we go through people watch us go through so much stuff and they don't know how we're gonna get through it. But when God ends up blessing us abundantly, like he said in his word, we end up wearing the blessing better than we ever wore the trial. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you said that. That's I did uh, surprisingly twice. <laughs> Sometimes you got to catch it on the first round. Amen. But you wear the blessing better than you wear the trial. That is such a good word right there. And 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 the reason why I say that is um in the Bible there was a story about the three Hebrew boys. Mm-hmm. And you know, they went through the fire and you know, God showed up for them. And even though the heat was turned up to to the to the max capacity. Yeah. They went through the fire. Mm mm. Mm, and mm. what's so crazy about it, it didn't even cinch their clothes. Jesus. And they didn't even smell like the smoke that they just went through. So I just really want to encourage the people that on tonight that you may be going through a storm. Mm, you may mm, be going mm, through a mm, trial. Mm. You may be going through something that's going to literally take you out. But I'm here to declare the word of God over your life that you may go through that fire, but you will not smell like smoke in this season. Ah, uh, you better say that. Amen. You better say that. Yes. That is such a ble- that's a good word, though. A lot of people would need yeah. that word. Yes. I'm telling I'm telling you, I'm telling you yeah. that. But being judged, being judged is such a, you know, and I think being judged run people away from the church. Absolutely. It runs, it runs potential believers and people that want to follow Christ away from Christ. Especially the ones that are actually trying to right, right. stay in their deliverance. And it seems like from the outside looking in, that's the only, like, if I, um, 
if I lived a very uh, promiscuous lifestyle, right, and you know God has literally totally set me free, um, I think was one one issue about being judged is nobody wants to see you outlive what you what you was in. Yeah. So how can I really? show a life of freedom when the only thing you can ever see is what what I used to what do. I used wow wow and it's always and see we we're quick to say you know forget about our past right. forget about your past oh that's your past you don't live for your past and that's who you used to be but then at the same time you're watching every move, every move. and you're gonna judge by every move and my thing is the crazy thing is here it is <clears throat> The Bible says we can judge, but judge righteously. We could judge righteously and we can't, you know, and and even says, you know, we could judge God mm. to prove that he can be faithful. Mm -hmm. We could judge God to be faithful, but then we will leave. We will literally hold each other at a standard or at a perfection yeah. that we can't even live up to. We can't live up to the, the to God's perfection. Never. Yes, we 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 believe in God and we 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 want to walk the faith of God and we we have ministry and we have you know th things that we do for the church. But that doesn't make us God. Right. That does not make us God. That does not make us the person that we worship. Right. You understand? But then now we turn we turn people are so and you know the crazy thing is people are so uh, um, and I'm trying to find a word on, a word for it where we would turn and this is what happened to the to the people of Israel where they turned they was free from the 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 Israel they was free they was free from Egypt but then they had to turn to something to worship. You understand where God had to divorce. God had to divorce, you know, the people of Israel, you know, because they were worshiping idol gods. And that that's what we actually are subject to, where we actually have pastors and leaders that we will worship or go to before we go to God. Wow. And that is that is facts. Yeah. You know, we, we if, if people that won't even pray for themselves. We, it's quicker to say, hey, pray for me, send a text out, pray for me or send a post out, pray for me. But will not go and fall on their own knees and pray for themselves because they believe more than man, they meet. They believe more in a man than they do believe in God. Yeah. And they believe more in somebody else than they do. But do they do they self? Yeah. And that's that's just that's not good. That's not good being a believer or, or a person that that is being a potential believer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because then now people that come over to Christ is like, whoa, wait, wait, what's going on? Mm -hmm. What's what's going on? Who's who, who are we really serving? What are we really doing? Yeah. So listen, it, it's it's these are these are facts right here. These are actual facts. So, man, listen, being judged is something is something crazy, you know, because it makes you. It just makes you not want to be around people of people uh, uh, Christians. I put it that way. Yes. I, I, it makes you not want to be around Christians, and then now you have a way where, you know, if if you're if you're judgmental, you can't do anything, so you have to sneak and do it. You know, because they condemn you for every single thing, and it's not like. Wow, I'm already being condemned by my flesh. I'm already being condemned because I know this is wrong, but I don't need an extra person to hang me on the cross for something that I already know that I that I've messed up with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, wow, it, it, you just have to be careful and you have to make sure you you choose your circle wisely. You have to make sure you choose your circle wisely. And we're not, you know, we're not in, you know, encouraging anybody to, you know, to to sneak and to, you know, to, to play around. No, we just no, we just need no. you to make wise wise choices, especially people who feel like you always got um, eyes wa uh, watching you. Um, and it's easier said than done. Um, I definitely am the ultimate person as far as being watched, as far as social media, um, and that is because you know sometimes we have to. Um, think about future consequences of the life that we live, or the life that we choose to live. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like being, you know, being a preacher, a yeah. teacher, and, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, at first, I just wanted to be seen and wanted the attention. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted. I like. I like. I liked the attention. But listen, like always being watched. Ooh. All the time. Ooh, yeah. 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 Who, where you going? Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. you talking to? Yeah. Who who you entertaining? Who's in your inbox? Oh, look at here, look at here, look at here, look at here. <laughs> 
Who in your inbox? Who in your inbox? <laughs> Who in your inbox? <laughs> and that, and honestly, that is. Listen, when I tell you, God is literally keeping me because I know that. Listen, y'all can judge me all you want to. I'm being real and transparent on this broadcast right here. Yeah, yeah. That's been a whole lot of times. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. inbox literally s- saved your life. Ooh, look at here. Look because here. if you would have responded, mm, mm, mm. if you responded, what what what, what happened? <laughs> we go, we go, we go. Put it on now. <laughs> we just go keep it. <laughs> hey, listen. Because some of y'all know me on this. Part. <laughs> listen, okay. th- that's that's probably the, the the only reason why I haven't responded to certain things. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, mm, mm. God, God, God's keeping you, huh? I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> he go, we go pray, keep you. I need to get baptized again. <laughs> but yeah. Woo! yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. we're I, not we're not condoning con- uh, secrecy, but who, baby? But you hold you something. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, check this out. How many to like? Because we know we talk about judging and stuff. Because sometimes we 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 lash out on social social media. How many times? Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to uh, you. Probably gonna agree with me on this, or you know, vibe with me on this. How many times have you typed a whole paragraph? Okay. On your what's on your mind? Oh my God! And the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, had to tell you erase it, erase all of, erase all of. I I've been there. I've been there. Had some cuss- I, I had some cussing in mind one time. Uh, no. <laughs> you beep beep beep, beep, yeah, yeah. beep 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 yeah. yeah. Listen, cuss like a sailor on that thing. <laughs> and God said, delete all of it. Delete all of it. Yeah, I've been there. I've actually been there. You know where where a person you know come up against me and you know come for me or whatever. And, yeah. the boy, and listen, listen, listen. Woo! And it, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and a lot. And my, the crazy thing is, you know, you got quite a few people. I didn't see. I've been, I've been changed. I'm, I'm. But you know, God is still working. You know, I've been changed. So a lot of things, you know, I, I have to say, okay, whoo. And then guess what? The crazy thing is, when you know you, when you know the truth, when you know the truth, and you know you got receipts. Mm. And you know, what, and and see that thing it be working on you. You understand what I'm saying? It be working on you, and you know I, you know I got receipts, and I got the truth about what's going on and what you coming for me for. Tag. God is <laughs> a vindicator. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I am so glad that he's a vindicator because it's been so many times. All that texting on what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. God had to literally remind me on who I am in him. And when the Bible says that you have to be planted Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like a tree, like a tree, not just a regular tree. I'm talking about a tree that has roots. Yes. And planted into the earth. Mm. And it's so crazy how people just throw dirt on you and yes, they, they yes. scandalize your name. Yes. But I don't care what you're going through on tonight. They mm-hmm. may throw dirt and water, but guess what? You are a seed. Oh, Say that. You Say are a that. seed, daughter. You are a seed, son. Yes. You are a seed, crackhead. You are a seed, drug That's addict. It. That's you it. are a That's seed. That's it. That's it. That's Prostitute, it. you are a seed. Wow. So it's been so many times I have type, type, type. And the Holy Spirit says, Jaleesa, mm, mm, who mm. would get glory if you respond? If you re- oh, listen, listen. My pastor says all the time that we 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 want to respond so bad. And mm-hmm. we want to go, we want to go toe to toe, blow for blow on people on social media. Mm-hmm. But who would get glory at the end of the day? Will God be satisfied? That's right. That's Will right. Will God be glorified? Wow. Will somebody come to you and be like, what must I do to to be saved. Yes. And if, if it's not going to bring glory to God, you the only thing that you are, you're in your flesh. Wow. wow and wow, nothing is wow. going to get resolved. Wow. Wow. So there's been many times wow, I have typed wow. what's on your mind and have said what was in the deepest part of my heart. Wow. Wow. And wow. I had to delete all of it. Listen, listen, I want to, you know, and you said you bring out such a great point. Yeah. You know, you bring out such a great point because when and, and people don't understand 
when you say you are a seed, seed. and when you <laughs> <laughs> and it always comes back to me when it says, and I want to look up that word seed. Let's, 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 I want to look up that word seed. Cause I think that I, I believe seed meaning produce. Let's see. So we go, we're going to work, we're going to work out that word seed. Because here it is, here it is, I want everybody to understand that when people talk about you and when people come against you and when people actually, you know, scandalize your name or, you know, people actually uh, uh, want to see you drowning, want to see you doing bad, want to see you, you know, actually, you know, uh, not make it. You are an actual seed. You are an actual pro reproduction. You actually are meant to, you know what? And the crazy thing is why, and this is why Jesus was dying on the cross. Everybody that came up against him, everything that, everything that happened to him, he was actually was able to come back, was actually able to grow from it. And people don't understand that. Let people talk about you. Let people say whatever they want to say. Let people come for you. Let people do whatever they need to do. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're going to overcome whatever they come and they, whatever they laying down. It's, 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 it's just going to be just to be a matter of time because now now here it is. Now you're allowing God to be the vindicator in that situation. Vindicator. I've been in a situation where um, I got caught into some mess, something that could have really um, damaged my character, um, dam damaged my my witness for God, period. And um and it it was it was with the saints actually leadership if we must be um honest on tonight um and god knows and i felt like every time i turned around it was just bothering me it was like everything that i saw everything that i touched reminded me of the judgment that was being brought against me mm. but one thing that really kept me together is my um faith in god um and you know god reminded me you know um you know you're you're beautifully and wonderfully be made, yeah, and don't yeah. forget don't forget who you are in me. And sooner or later, um, the person inboxed me and had to apologize to me. Look at God. Look at God. Because I think what people fail to understand, you have got to be careful putting your mouth on, on the men mm, and women yes, of God. Yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, what's the scripture? Touch not my anointed. What? And, and do, do my, my profit no harm. No harm. That's right. That's right. That's no right. No harm. Wow. Wow. At all. Wow. Like they literally said, I was talking to some people about you. <laughs> they said that to you? <laughs> and listen, wow. and when God vindicates you, some sometimes it's God, but it's also men and women of God that know already know that the hand of God is on your life. And when somebody brings some mess to them, mm, mm, mm. They gonna that. Shut, real people shut that down immediately. immediately. Wow. Wow. I don't care. Listen, listen, I'm a prissy girl at times, mm -hmm. but one thing you're not going to do is talk about my pastor. Ooh, all right. Now. One thing you're not going to do in my presence is talk about my leader. One yes. thing you're not going to do is talk about Stephen Stokes no. in front of me in a negative way. You're not. Amen. 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 And I will pray that the same emotion, the same love, the same feeling that I do among people, mm -hmm. that they would do the same thing for me. Absolutely. Some of y'all need to shut up. Oh, Say it again. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> some of y'all need to shut up. Like, no, for real, because like. Sometimes y'all do more damage than good. Yes. And what yeah. makes you think that you talking about, it don't matter if it's people in the church or people on the street, what makes you think that you're going to live a prosperous life always downing somebody else? Yeah. yeah. And it's amazing how when you make somebody mad mm -hmm. or you hold an accountability towards them, yeah. then you're no longer anointed. I'm done. Oh, that's it. That's it. You right about. <laughs> I need them to hear me sip this. Um, so hold on. <laughs> Because I was anointed yesterday. Uh huh. Uh huh. We were friends yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And I was trying to help you. <laughs> yeah. So you won't be stagnated. Right. Right. Or complacent mm. in your walk with mm. God. Right. Right. Because this is the season where we all need to grow. We yeah. done been through the 
two years mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of being complacent, and now it's time for us to go up. Yes, okay? yes. Okay, we need yes. to think. We need to have our minds on things above. But I, I, I'm trying to help you along the way, uh-huh. and you shun me because you're walking in the spirit of um, offense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now you don't like me no more. Wow, wow, wow. And I'm not anointed. Jesus, Jesus. One thing we must realize, but you know, it come, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. Um, maturity that is, but um, before I pissed you off, and mm-hmm. after I pissed you off, I'm still anointed, and I don't care what you say. I know that's right. Think I know that. <laughs> you go sip again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're a mess. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy that a lot of people, they stripped you of your title. They stripped you of everything, you know, after you act. And it's always because you told them the truth. It's always after you told them the truth or you told or you actually, you know, brung out something that they refuse to realize or something that they miss or something that they don't want to confront. You know, it's always after that. Then once that once that got, oh, you know, you're no longer anointed. You're no longer a pastor or a leader. You're nothing. You're you're just a regular old person. I've never said that I was better than anybody. But what you're not going to do is downgrade me or talk about me or do anything to me or say anything about me because I have exposed the truth or because I said I, I, I made you realize what was going on. And I made you realize the truth about yourself. Tag. Listen, <laughs> listen, for those who, um, be, okay, keep it nice, Jalisa. Okay, uh, for those who, you know, you, you people be talking about your, you know, about your people, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, it's just as bad if you just sit back and listen. You're just as worse as the people that are talking. Oh, shut your mouth. Listen, listen. Never tell me, hey, somebody said something about you. I don't care what they said. I I want to know what did you say no, to defend, defend me? That, 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 that sip. <laughs> mm. That fago show good. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But and that's that's important because yeah. now if you're in that conversation, you know, if you're in that conversation, if you're in that environment, what did you say to defend me and what did you say or did you just sit there and allow it to happen? Because words, you know, you don't already know how rumors are. Words get flipped and flopped. Yes, and- yes, yes, yes. And I agree. Don't try it with me. Yeah. <laughs> don't try it. Don't even try it. Because sometimes you have to set the standard in conversations yes. when you show up on the scene. When somebody look at you or they look at me mm-hmm. or they look at Steven, mm-hmm. they already know. Yeah, yeah. We're not finna talk about Pastor so and so around That's Jaleesa because right. Jaleesa gonna cut up. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I am. Mm-hmm. 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 I am. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because you're trying to tell me out of everything that we can talk about. Yeah. We got to talk about this one and we got to talk about that one. Yeah. Can we talk about uh, what food or Mm -hmm. something, Mm -hmm. a vacation or something? What? Wow. 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 But you know what they they say. If they ain't talking about you, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. A lot of people, you know, <laughs> and that's exactly what's what's going on. If you if they ain't talking about you, if they hating on you, if they ain't you know coming against you, or if they ain't slandering you, or they, and and the crazy thing is, I I know for a fact a lot of people talk about me, but but I still continue. But you're ugly, so I understand. <laughs> Got to keep them humble, man. You, know, you got to keep them humble, because you know they got they you know they get glasses and you know they, I, they got the knees out. I, I, you and, know um, what? And they got full beards that connect, <laughs> so they think they fine. But I'm ugly. But I'm ugly. Of course you are. Oh my gosh. Amen. Oh my gosh. See, you judging me already, Johnny. <laughs> you judging me already? Who judging? <laughs> you. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the joke. <laughs> Amen. Johnny, come get your husband. Oh my goodness. But do you know but do you think by exposing the truth or you know um you know and, and that's a question that I want to ask. Do you think by um bringing the truth out or bringing the truth to someone as you know it to be the truth, do you think that as do you believe that as judging that person if you're saying, "Hey, 
I, I, I seen this or I know this or, you know, I, I'm, I'm concerned about this or, you know, th- I don't think this is right or I don't think, you know, you should be, you know, blah, blah, blah. Do you do you consider that as judging or do you really consider that as, you know what, I'm concerned about your life and I don't want to see you throw your life away or bring embarrassment to your life? Um, I think that determines on the delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, well, and... Pff- I think that's like a very complex question because, you know, like I said, people always walking in, uh, in the spirit of defense. Can't tell them nothing. They don't want to know nothing. They know everything. And then, like I said, delivery. Sometimes, you know, they say, you know, a soft answer. Yeah. Yeah. But do turns you, away wrath. Well, you're right. 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 That's Bible. That's Bible. That's okay, not but, babble. That's Bible. B-I-B-L-E. <laughs> that's the that, book for me. Yes. Yes. Yeah, God. <laughs> but, but a lot of people are so offended. Everybody is so offended. And y'all got no, and y'all got no edges and you want to be offended. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, what you say? Oh, I ain't got none? Let me show you something. <laughs> you got all your edges. Because <laughs> y'all not going to stress me out. Do you hear what I say? You all <laughs> circumcised Philistines over here want to walk, want to walk around uh-huh. and be offended all the time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell them about it. Tell and them about it. If I tell you, you need to need to have have a girl on. That's what you need to have is on. The, don't you mute me? I ain't muting you. <laughs> you need to put your girl on, and y'all not finna stretch me out. Got the nerve to be offended? You ain't got no edges. Ought to, oh be, ash- ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> okay. Let me take a sip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't make no sense. It don't. It don't. Always offended. Can't Always tell you nothing. Can't tell you nothing. Can't say nothing, but want to tell you everything and want to ha- have a problem with what you got. And sometimes, whenever. I think I'm very motherly, especially when somebody tell when so, when I tell somebody something that's going to benefit them. Sometimes the reason why people tell you things. It's for your protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can I can see that. And and to be honest with you, I guess I'm a different breed because it, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Um, back in the day, I used to have a problem with with uh, body odor. Um, it, it wasn't like I didn't want to wash my tail. You know, it, you know, I had like you know personal um, mm. feminine issues, mm-hmm. um, which I'm not ashamed. And uh-huh. um, you can screenshot that, so I don't care. Mm-hmm. But um. But I guess it all determines who is in your circle. Wow. Because mm-hmm. I have a problem with, I'm going to be, I'm just going to put it out there because I, I have actually seen it with my eyes. If you have a friend that is struggling with something. Right, right, right. And you're not helping them. Yeah. You're not yeah. a friend. You're not a friend. But rather talk about them. Because, listen, shout out to Rio. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. My, uh, my sister Rio, I love you. I wish she would let me walk out looking a mess. Mess, right. Right. Because if you looking fly, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, or yeah. whatever, Rio already know. I, I tell Rio in a heartbeat, Rio, if I'm stinking, you, you better let me know. You better tell me something. Breath, tail, armpit, I don't care. You tell better, me, you, sis. You better tell me something and, and, and let I, me know. Well, well, it start. You know, smell yourself first, because <laughs> some of y'all can't smell. <laughs> And we praying for you tonight. <laughs> Wait a minute. You praying for them? You going to lift them up in prayer? I'm lifting them very high. <laughs> very high. We're going to pray that they smell themselves and make sure they, 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 they make sure they smell uh, yourself. understand. <laughs> no, for real, no, we, this is, listen, this is real life, ladies this and is, gentlemen. This is real life. When I put my clothes on, mm-hmm. depending on who's, who there, my mama, my daddy, my brother, my, my sister. Hey, let me walk past you to see if you, you smell something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or flick, flick your dress a little bit. That, <laughs> you gotta, gotta flick, flick your dress a little bit. You smell something. You <laughs> Let me walk past you. Let me. Can, or if 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 you very dramatic like me, honey, I shout. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See if you. <laughs> Cause you know them smells when you shout. You ever seen somebody shout so hard and then oh. they sit and then they sit down every sit down time. <laughs> Baby, send that shot. Baby, that thing. <laughs> baby, we would have thought we was on the day of Pentecost. That rush, a <laughs> rush and mighty wind. Bless my master. <laughs> Listen. And then. 
Oh walking God. around and then and you know the out from the outside looking in, everybody looking like mm. y'all hanging with this person and did and did nobody and, say and, and did nobody say nothing. Oh nothing? my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah, yeah. We but pro- see, the crazy thing is of everybody, everybody, you know, <laughs> you sit there and say, you know, hey, you know, um they do whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's like, hey, you know, that person so and so, you know, they not smelling too good or they this or this and that. Shut it down. And did you shut did you tell shut them? It, shut it. <laughs> But but, but but you know sometimes in a friend group you got to you know every in a friend group everybody has a certain role you know one's the enforcer one's the comedian one is the mother one is uh-huh. everybody wrapped up into one then you got the crazy person like me mm-hmm, pray mm-hmm. for me y'all so uh, sometimes you gotta have a coming to Jesus meeting yeah 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 but not like you know bashing them like hey I mean pull the person to the side yeah. Pull the person to the side. But you know, not not this generation. Y'all want to um expose people. I don't understand that. Like if you're if we're friends or we're you know um you know if we're in the same circle or we you know pretty much just close enough. But what's wrong with pulling the person to the side and saying, hey, I see this or I say or I smell this or whatever whatever the case may be. The Bible says. If you have a alt against <laughs> your brother, not, but it's not really an alt, it's not but not you alt. know. <laughs> but we're gonna say if if you have, let's pair, let's you know. I ain't, ain't trying to rearrange the Bible. No, let me rearrange. But 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 the Bible says alt. But mm. I'm gonna say if you if if something is going on, uh-huh, let's say uh-huh, that uh-huh, with your uh-huh. with your brother, with your okay. sister or whatever. That I read one version. The Message Bible says you shall pull them to the side. Pull them to the side. That's it, right. Pull the, them. The Bible don't say out them on Facebook. It don't say always recording. Mm, mm. But you know what? That we are in that we are in that time frame now. We are in that yeah, generation. After, after, that. Uh, uh, something happened after 1999. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened either. I don't know. 1999. What happened. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Y'all the most recording is everybody go well. I can't talk because I go viral all the time. But, uh, <laughs> You pull out that phone. I t- no, I tell my students that they, you know, they be trying to because re- you know I, I, I talk like this in front of my students, mm-hmm. so they always trying to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sipping. You gonna sip? Just sip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but, but you know, my thing is, I think, I think a lot of people, you know, really shy away you know and i'm just going to stick with this just shy away from you know people of god and and that's why the people of god has such a bad name which you know which and it's it's such it's i think we just need to do better i think you just need to do better with you know um you know pointing things out and judging things because there shouldn't be any sections or or cliques or groups in the body of christ it just shouldn't be. It just shouldn't be. Oh, because sister so and so, and I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna call you know sister so and so or brother who or whatever you know and talk about you know did you see that or did you see that you know good and well they shouldn't be dressing or or stanking or whatever the case may be instead of going to them and actually saying hey brother sister let me pull you to the side let me um you know make sure you're good you know because wow you know I've noticed this and I don't want anybody to think otherwise because I'm telling you firsthand and i never had a problem doing that i never had a problem doing that anybody that i believe you better tell me you better tell okay well it, it, listen it, right i'm gonna make i'm gonna make that hat fall off don't play <laughs> well I, well i know some some female issues you know i feel like yes you know receive better from a woman yeah 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 yeah, yeah so because I, I but i ain't gonna tell i ain't gonna say my wife i'm gonna tell you myself I'm like, come here, come here, uh, 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 come here. Nah, don't get no mad, don't get mad at me or attitude with me. I quit. <laughs> I quit. Eh, eh. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna wait. I'm listen. If I know you like that and you know we cool or whatever, I'm gonna come to you. And and anybody that knows me, anybody that knows me, know. Hey, listen. If you're stinking or if something messed up, I'm gonna say something. I smell good. You smell good. <laughs> Why is you smelling yourself on? We live and you try to smell yourself. I don't smell nothing. I don't smell nothing. Bless God. Bless God. <laughs> but let me tell you something, Wild Uncle. Big Win. 
Let me tell y'all something, ladies. <laughs> Big Wind smells so good, y'all. <laughs> he does. He smelled like a. Um, oh my gosh. He he smells like whenever you you know you got a boo and a bay. Mm. Like can I just vent? I love you, Big Wind. I miss you, Boo Boo. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm so used to you saying it right there. Yeah. I love you, Big Wind. <laughs> He's like whenever you got you a bay. Mm-hmm. And he let you use his shirt, and and that shirt smelled so good. It smelled like love and warmth. It smelled like he don't. God just wrapped his arms around you. Oh my God! Look, <laughs> and hold you real close. Hold you real close. That's what Big Win smells like. He smells like love. I love you, Big Win. Oh God! Oh. I'm gonna fuss you out when you when I see you next time. But I love you. <laughs> Why you gonna fuss about? <laughs> Cause I already know that he's gonna have something to say next yep. week, yeah. but it does. <laughs> you know he is. He smells like love. Oh, oh, well, well, we see, well, we see who who who, who loves old Big Win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we gonna get back to this judgment. <laughs> Golly. Sorry. But you know, um, I think this is just unimportant, and I know we are just pointing out surface things, and I just think that I think we. I believe that we really need to just attack this on the surface because that's where it's happening. You know, a lot of people and my cra- the crazy thing is a lot of people are judging, you know, others and it's tearing them down and it's changing, you know, them from being, you know, um, you know, wanting to follow Christ to going back in the world to wanting not be a part of the church or a part of because the crazy thing is the world is not the world is more accepting than the church is. Yeah. The world is more accepting than the church is. Everybody, you know, want to come to church or want to believe in God or want to be a part of, you know, a church or whatever. But then now it's being, you know, it's now being struck down because they don't fit in or because they feel a certain way, a part of a group or clique or or anything of that nature. And they feel like they, they just cannot be a part of anything that, that that's dealing with God, which is very sad. It's very sad to go to church and actually feel that way. That's a bad thing. That's not good because then now I could have stayed in the world, be accepted and, and, and keep doing what I was doing rather than coming to, you know, somebody's church or somebody's church group or ministry or anything of that nature and be judged. Everybody's struggling. Everybody going through things. Everybody, everybody has not arrived. Everybody that that's, that's including anybody that's on the earth. Anybody. Everybody is not perfect. Yeah. And and you and you're definitely not perfect if you're sitting up here thinking that you have no flaws, no nothing that is wrong with you or you or you have arrived. It doesn't matter. That goes for leaders, that goes for for dignitaries, that goes for anybody that's a part of the part of the body of Christ or any you're not perfect you don't have the capacity nor the room nor the environment nor the nor the anything to judge anybody everybody needs to be accepted everybody everybody and that's just the way it should be but then now you can't go to the church the four walls and be accepted it's so, and, and, it, and it's sad because Big Win always say, you know what? We don't have a place to tell the people to go. You know, I don't have a church home to tell these people. I don't have a church to tell these people to go to that that listens to me or that that you know is curious about. Man, listen, I don't because there is no place that you can tell somebody say, hey, go over there to this church, man. I know they're gonna treat you well. I know they're gonna treat you right. I know they're not gonna come against you. I know everybody that's over there. You, there is very minimum, very minimum places you could tell somebody to go to without being judged or without being condemned or without being some some type of way offended or or anything. I know I'm talking about these are new believers. These are people that wanna actually know Christ. They wanna know Christ, but you know, this is this is what we living in. This is the world that we're a part of. And I think it's I think it's important, especially people um, who have already like been through it. I just think it's very asinine of people who tend to forget how much grace and mercy God has shown to Ooh, you. Jesus, mm, say that, that that we're so quick to judge people mm. when they used to do the same thing you used to do. Same thing. So. Who made you King Tut? Say that. Who, Say that. Who, who made you uh, Queen Elizabeth that you can 
be harsh and mean and undignified did you forget that a few years ago you was that little girl or that little boy that was struggling with something my god my god do you remember how god showed his grace and mercy upon you ah uh. see we don't oh god you probably get me for this we don't get delivered to curse to undelivered <laughs> Hey, say that again. We don't get delivered and dignified and then we shun the people who are still out there. My God. In La La Land. Yes. We don't do that. Yeah. We're supposed to be a shining light for the world to see. Mm. Mm. Wow. 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 And what and, 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 and what people fail to realize is mm. you're not gonna make it to heaven like that. No, no. Not gonna make it to heaven. Not gonna, not no. gonna do anything, you know. And you're just gonna be in the same position that you you always Absolutely. been. Absolutely. And you're gonna stay at the level that you've always been. Absolutely. And and the crazy thing is, wow. <laughs> the only thing you're doing is digging yourself deeper into your own, yeah, your own foolishness, your own crap. And oh, what a sad day it will be. Mm. When you get to heaven and it's going to be between you and God. Yes, you prophesied in his name. You pr uh, you, you fed the homeless. You, you, you went to go to the hospital, to go see Nene and them. Yes, you did that. Mm. But it's going to be very sad when you miss heaven mm. Mm. for the simplest thing. Yeah. The yeah. Bible says that we're supposed to treat others mm -hmm. like we want to be treated. Like we want to be treated. Amen. Amen. So it's going to be really sad that you 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 went above and beyond. Mm. But sometimes we miss we miss the the littlest things. Yeah, yeah. I don't care for for those who really know me, honey, I don't care if you green with 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 blue polka dots. Mm. I'm going to love on you like I've been knowing you for years. Yeah. Because yeah. that's I believe I and not trying to toot my own horn. I feel like I always had that trait. Yeah, because yeah. I always I always want to see the best in people. Yeah. I, I, I want to see everybody make it, <clears throat> even though sometimes they probably don't want to see that for me. Yeah. Yeah. But I realize that God blesses me, especially with people who who, who are fighting against me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Isn't that something? And I can see it and I can smell it from a mile away. Wow. Even though you don't like me, I'm still. Yeah. Yeah. Going to carry myself accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at God. I'm Woo! sipping again. Sip. Sip, 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 sip on. I'm gone. You gone? You gone? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still, move yeah. accordingly. Move accordingly. I believe this was a great topic. I really love this topic. Yes, and, it was. You know, and I really think that, you know, I hope and I really pray that a lot of people be, was blessed by, yeah. you know, the things that, you know, was coming to life on today with with this topic, because it's really vital and important, you know, that your life is on trial. People are watching. But however, they're watching, you know, not only to judge you, but you can also bless people by by your lifestyle as well, you know, by being diligent you know and i'm telling you just just be encouraged just be encouraged and stay true to yourself at the end of the day absolutely um this reminds me uh of the book of exodus chapter 22 verse 7 i say this scripture all the time it says that if you give something to your brother and somebody comes into their house and they take everything that they own mm -hmm. um the bible says that if the enemy is called that you shall receive double Ooh. and i just want to encourage the people on tonight that the the way that god is getting ready to set you up in your next season that you will gain everything that you lost plus interest wow wow i think that's plus interest plus interest so don't worry about what you lost Mm. Don't worry about what burned down in the fire, what was taken away by the wind, what was taken away by the rain. But the way that God is getting ready to set you up in such a way that you're going to gain everything that you lost. Mm. And he's going to set you up for more. I believe that this is definitely your and season. Mm. Woo. Look at a that. A and D. And, and season. season. If you're looking for understanding, God says, I'm going to give you peace and, and. understanding. God, if you want God to bless your finances, God says, I'm going <clears> to <throat> give you, I'm going to give you health and wealth. Ooh. Because I truly believe it's, mm -hmm. I don't see how people can be, uh, you know how people got a whole bunch of money, but they can't enjoy it because they done, you know, they done about to wither away. In this season, we're going to enjoy what God blesses us in this season. Oh, uh, my God. So forget so forget about that. I know it's easier said than done, but this is definitely going to have to be the season of your life that faith is going to going to have to carry you through. 
Ooh, say that. I'm sipping. I receive that. I receive that. I receive it. I receive it. Go ahead and sip that. That is good stuff right there. That is good stuff. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's I love carry it. you through. It's gonna carry you through, and I, I really believe that. I really believe that God is gonna carry you through. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> so listen. Yes. Our first lady has been up for the Dunamis Award singing. Yeah. Um, so what is the uh, categories? Um, I've been uh, I've been fortunate to be nominated for a couple of awards on this coming up Saturday um, for Worship Leader of the Year, as well as female vocalist of the year um last year um i won worship leader of the year so just to come back oh my god that's Mm. like i think that is big that is awesome um i'm very grateful for everybody who who even nominated me um and i just feel like that every every time god blesses me i feel like it's, it's setting me up um you know to help others because don't you know Somebody got their name, got your name in the in their mouth in a good way. In a good way. Wow. Wow. Now, I know we just talked about people judging us, mm-hmm. but I believe mm-hmm. that there's somebody <laughs> that got your name. Amen. 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 In their mouth. All right. All right. Now. Nah. Amen. Right. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm excited. Oh, tell them what you're going to be doing right now. <laughs> Tell him. Yes, I'm. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Stephen. Yes, we're gonna definitely. I'm gonna be doing the red carpet. We're gonna be doing the red carpet. Underground Gospel Radio gonna be filming the red carpet. So we're gonna he, be. I might not. I might not be recognizable on Saturday. Well, you got your dress. Ba- I'm gonna be pushed up, pushed and up. sucked in. Oh, I'm to tell you now, my, you husband, my, my husband gonna be there. Your husband gonna be there. He might be there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you know what? Everybody, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I'm telling you, the Duty Minutes Awards is, you know, it's going to be very epic. It's going to be it's very huge. Good. It's a huge thing. So, um, if you're in the surrounding areas, definitely um, pop in. You know, Greensboro, you know, North Carolina, Duty Minutes Awards. So, definitely, you know, I believe all the information is online. So, if you type in Duty Minutes Awards, then you know they, they still have tickets on sale. So, so yeah. still have tickets on sale. All right. So, yeah. So we want to go ahead and get up, get out your face and out your ear, man. I'm telling you, we've actually had a good time talking about you know uh being judged you know life on trial and i'm telling you it's been a blessing and it's been you know uh uh, feeding you know it just fed my spirit today and i really love it and you know these are the type of topics i love because i think a lot of people are not talking about these things and you know and, and shedding light on these things and you know really bringing these things into life so listen man we're gonna get up out your face out your ear i'm your boy self is the artist i'm your brother i'm your nephew i'm your cousin but i ain't your daddy and this is the first lady the jaleesa cade and um <sighs> <laughs> Just, that's all I gotta say. I love you. Exactly. <laughs> it's been so, a long week. <laughs> it's been a long week, yes. Yes. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Peace.